Hey guys, this is a very quick guide video to show you how to actually use the add-ons that were just released for ESO console players. Just as a reminder, these add-ons are only available on next-gen consoles, meaning PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S. So for example, if you are playing on PlayStation 4, or if you have a PlayStation 5, but for some reason never downloaded the PlayStation 5 version of ESO, you're not gonna have access to these add-ons. So if you meet these requirements and want to install add-ons, all you have to do is go inside your game and go down to options. At the very bottom of options, you will click add-ons. Here you have two options, but before you click anything, just notice that the memory capacity is shown down at the bottom right. So you can see that you can only have 100 megabytes worth of add-ons installed total. So if you want to install or uninstall any add-ons, you use browse add-ons. Here you can see the complete list of what's available, what you already have installed, or if there are any updates, which you always should update. You can sort these a few ways, alphabetical, how many users have downloaded them, and whether it's installed for you. If you're looking for a specific type of add-on, you can either search it by name on the top left, or use the drop-down category list on the top right. So for example, let's say I only want to see PvP add-ons, and I would just sort it like this. So once you find an add-on that you want to download, just hit X to install it, and it will automatically reload UI. One thing that is kind of finicky at the moment is that even though you may have the add-on downloaded, it may not necessarily be automatically enabled, meaning it's not going to work. So it's a good habit to just after you install something, go back and into manage my add-ons. If you see something that is gray or without a check mark, the add-on is not enabled. So you just wanna click X to enable it. If something is red, it cannot function because it is either missing a dependent file or you have a dependent file disabled. So just read what the file needs. It's typically a library file, which is what lib stands for. And make sure you have all of those required files installed and enabled. And then just keep reloading UI after every change to make sure everything's reset. As a side note, if you are trying to get rid of an add-on, like I said, you can disable it here on the manage my add-ons, but it doesn't actually mean that it's actually uninstalled. So if you want to delete an add-on altogether, you actually have to go back to browse add-ons and click uninstall here. Some add-ons, not all of them, have their own customizable settings. So if the add-on allows you to customize it, it will appear in this tab above Activity Finder called add-ons. These are all gonna be your personal preference, of course. So you're just gonna have to play around with them and figure out what you like. So just as a quick demonstration, if you want to adjust the minimap, for example, you will go down into minimap, go down to appearance and click show minimap now so you can see what it will look like. Then you would go to border style, just click one that you like, like for example, this moose tracks one and then you could position it on the top right corner of your screen by adjusting the X and the Y axis. You can adjust the size of the minimap, how much it zooms in, and a lot more. It's just all your preference. So there are some add-ons, probably to no one's surprise, that are not functioning properly at the moment. It was kind of a mess this morning. I'm going to put a list in my pinned comment in this video and I will keep it updated so you can see which problems are currently happening. That way you know that it's a game issue and not a you problem. But if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will help you out. So I hope this helped you. Thank you guys, have a great day.